wonderful people that went and walked. Now this event is one of many of our AFT giving back activities, but I know we can say for sure it's the tastiest of all the activities. <laughs> We've got the urban farm um, so the community can actually grow the right food so that the kids and the families have access to it. You've got the healthy cooking, which is teaching them how to prepare it the right way. So it's a nice, wonderful, symbiotic relationship. Why are we caramelizing? Why are we doing this? Anybody know the answer? Flavor. Kids will come to school more healthy when they have the onions that are being cooked right back there, when they have more healthy food. And that's part of what we're all banding together to do. You know, AFT members have become the leader in the effort uh, for our kids to make the right choice in a healthier life. You're going to dig down about six inches, then the planters come behind the diggers and put in the marigolds. I love the, the theme of the AFT gives back. To see like this bright spot of hope in this garden here is incredible that people can work together for themselves, their community. I got a promise to put them in the ground. I want to give this to my mom, and I'm going to help her plant this in, the, in our grass, and we go watch it grow. I mean, when you see vacant houses and you see a, a garden like this, it really stands out. So when someone sees this, when they drive past, they normally stop by and just look at it. And it's like a, a real positive. What foods are the best for a body that's growing? I think it's a wonderful opportunity that First Book has created for the children of the community and many communities around the country who don't have the opportunity to own their own books. Especially if it's a child who isn't as strong a reader, if you're laughing, if you're having fun, if you're sort of cutting up with them, they start to enjoy it and then they kind of don't realize that they're learning about words. And learning. My nieces, um, they love to read and so I'd like to maybe show this with them. I like a lot of fruits and vegetables and I like to, you know, get healthy and I want to help them out with that. When you have people come from all across the country to a community that and the only thing that we're here for is to help uplift and to grow and they know that we're here for them, that's a positive influence. And if you reach one, two, three kids out of the whole block, you know, each one of them is going to influence those around them and it's going to make a positive change.